Finally, I can get some sleep at night. Just in time, too. Kuvar was starting to give me some grief about his new armor. This will do the trick nicely. You come back if you ever want some fancier armor yourself now. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Until next time. It brings me good. It's been many winters since my husband returned to the Old Maker. But my heart still aches for him. I fear what would have happened if you hadn't freed us. My father was a noble man, and a true skull. My heart is still heavy. With the loss of my father. I have been preparing for it all my life. 
There is no question that I'm ready, but... It is not right that I should say this, because I must honor my father's wishes, but... This is a path I never chose. I always thought that I would be a great hunter, or even the village chieftain. <laughs> not if Fanari has anything to say about it. When it comes to being chieftain, she is like a wolf with her jaws clamped tight upon a fresh kill. But that's all right. The Skull need a shaman, and I know that is my place. She died. She was caught in a terrible snowstorm while returning home from gathering firewood. You must understand that for the Skull, life is a constant hardship. We take nothing for granted. We cannot afford to. Between the wolves, the weather, and the threats in the south, even a simple task like gathering wood for the fire can turn deadly in an instant. I'll make her guide you. I still cannot believe that Storm is gone. My father was a noble man, and a true skull. I came here to study the history of Solstice. Thank <laughs> you. 